Okay, so we all know how you enjoy the look back videos. It gets us a chance to see how tools have performed over time, right? Well, two years ago, Toolbox Buzz published our best cordless chainsaw head-to-head -head test. In that test, the steel model MSA 2020 C-B cordless 16-inch chainsaw shined and won the head-to-head -head test. This video is a two-year look back on that saw. In our test, the steel 16-inch saw produced impressive results. Uh, mostly, we were blown away by its cut test, but also we were impressed by the entire um, range of design on it, the ergonomics, the compact design, um, the professional build quality, fit and finish that just separated it from the rest of the saws. It stood out. For the past two years, Toolbox Buzz crew member Wes Bartosik has been using the steel saw to determine how it performed long term. So it's been a two-year test. And Wes has been using this saw, legit using, as a constant go-to saw. It has been uh, seen constant use for firewood, uh, as well as clearing, uh, clearing work and clean up around his home and farm. Two years of experience with the saw has shown Wes um, where the MSA 2020 shines, as well as identify some of its shortcomings. This tool, video, tool review video will look back at his experience and, and we'll talk about it. So if you want to know a little bit more about this saw, maybe the specs, the weights, the warranty, all that stuff, just go to the toolboxbuzz.com article and read the article. There's tons of more information in the article. Now, one of the most impressive attributes of the steel cordless chainsaw, it's runtime and power available from such a small compact package. The steel is shorter, slimmer, lighter than the other saws in its category, but it still cuts like crazy. With a large 7.2 amp hour battery inserted, this saw weighs around 10.4 pounds. And because of um, the power head portion of the saw is so compact, that weight balance just feels great. This steel saw is not a replacement for a large bore saw for heavy cutting tasks. We, we know that, we established that. It's likely in the ballpark of a 35 to 45 cc gas saw for performance. Now the low profile steel 3H Pico chain, we typically see reserved for a top handle arborist saw, climbing and trimming and such. However, the steel battery saw produces incredible torque band and it will chew through wood that would normally be way out of bounds for a comparable battery saw. Additionally, it shines when cutting wood that is sub 12 inch in diameter. Now, West cuts a variety of hardwood species up here in the Northeast with the MSA 2020 and it excels at all of it. Conversely, um, as we discussed in the head-to-head -head article, the steel MS2020 cordless saw will, will stall out if you push it too hard. Whether we're discussing chainsaws or we want to move over and talk about circular saws, it doesn't matter. Battery, cordless battery saws will stall out when pushed too hard into the material they're designed to cut. This is often a, a, a designed-in feature by manufacturers to prevent burnout of the motors and batteries. The steel is no different. When making cuts in full length of the bar, it is easy to stall out. And for this reason, Wes doesn't like it as a felling saw. You know, when, when making, say, a back cut on a tree, or the last thing you want is the, the chain stalling out, or if you're wondering or wearing if you have enough power to make it through the cut safely. So the MSA 2020 features, um, it features a tool-free adjustment mechanism for the chain tension, as well as securing the bar. Now, instead of bar nuts, there's a folding adjustment lever on the clutch cover, and this lever, it turns uh, to tighten or loosen the tension on the bar. Now above it um, is a rotary uh, cogwheel for setting the, the tension as well. Ideally, I should say initially, we thought that that was gonna be gimmicky. We really didn't. I think we said that in the head-to-head -head article. However, look back 22 years now, it's held up exceptionally well. Now, Wes has never had chain slack out of the bar or it come loose. He also has not, not broken the lever, the gimmicky lever we thought, regardless of how hard he's cranked down on it, and he's got some big mitts. The only criticism Wes has is that after heavy use, the chain tensioner wheel does become gummed up with fine sawdust and oil. Now this makes it difficult to adjust when that happens. Wes has found that by removing the cover plate, cleaning it out with a little brush, it just alleviates the problem. He also noted that the cover plate must be loosened considerably to, let the, to get to the tensioner. The uh, steel saw features an automatic chain uh, oiler as well. Now this 
oiling system ensures that bar oil is provided you know during the, the cut for excess friction wear and tear burn out of the bar all of that his experience has shown that the steel oiling system works really well with the longer 60 inch bar and it distributes that oil even and consistently as it's needed furthermore the saw uses a tank of bar oil for a battery charge with the ap300s battery many battery saws burn through their oil in about half that battery charge and if you're not paying attention, you can damage your saw if you're not caught by the operator. So, uh, Since first using this saw in 2020, the steel MSA 2020 has become pretty much one of the benchmarks for us here at Toolbox Buzz and how we evaluate chainsaws. It's compact, ergonomic, and powerful. It's become Wes's constant woods companion, whether he's processing firewood or doing storm cleanups or working on his farm. Furthermore, a lightweight and portable saw like the MSA 2020, it just excels as a bucket or climbing saw for smaller diameter takedowns or, or, or limb work, trimming work. Um, an arborist friend of ours who also helped us do the head-to-head -head test uses the MSA 2020 in conjunction with his chipper. And he says the ability to be able to grab and go with the flick of a switch is invaluable when he wants to work efficiently. Um, the MSA 2020 is steel's largest and most powerful battery-powered saw currently available, and while it performs well at tasks suited for its weight class, it is still not a replacement for large gas-powered saws. Said that twice now, I'll still get comments. However, seeing what steel has been able to accomplish so far with 36-volt platform and those 8P series batteries, Toolbox Buzz is confident that bigger and better things will be coming from them in the future. In fact, check out our recent Instagram posts covering the 2020 Equipment Expo just to see exactly what Steel is working on right now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this look back video. You've all asked for more of them. We try when we can. I'm Rob Robillard. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Tell me what chainsaw you own and use and what you think of the Steel system. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell right there. It helps with our rankings and uh, you don't miss any content from us. So I'll see you at the next review. Take care.